Hey guys, I'm here to do another Let's Talk discussion video. I think the last video was awesome, you guys commenting and talking about why you love series or standalones, and it's very interesting to see what kind of series you liked and you didn't like and all of your opinions and your preferences, so that was awesome. I also asked you guys what kind of things you want to talk about, and you guys have some really great suggestions. Whatever I'm feeling that week, I will probably grab one of your topics. This this video topic was suggested by Claudia from Mrs. Book Lover, so thanks Claudia. This book discussion, I don't know why I didn't think of it as my first video. It should have been because this is an awesome topic. The topic is why I love reading YA, why you guys love reading YA, or why you guys don't like reading YA. Although, tread carefully if you don't. I'm kidding. So this is the topic, why you love reading YA. I'll let you know why I love YA, what series got me into YA, which series made me fall in love with YA, and all of that jazz. Why do I love YA? I mean, why do I love Nutella on bread? Or on anything for that matter. Why do I love puppies? Why do I love fresh sheets and clothes coming out of the dryer? Why do I love chocolate? it's because it's awesome and because I just do. YA focuses on, of course, the young adult character. The characters are going through a transformation. This is the time where you start to develop as a person, you find out about yourself, you succumb to peer pressure, fall in love, seeing things you never seen before, experiencing things you never experienced before, and I find all of that wildly entertaining, fascinating, interesting, how these characters make their decisions, how they develop, how they grow, and you kind of see themselves in you a little bit. You know, above all, it's relatable because you're either going through it or you've gone through it. Seeing young adult characters do the things that they do, develop the way they do, it's very surprising in a way. Kids aren't punks like you think they would be, that kids are actually, even though flawed, they they get it and they know what's going on and they're smart enough to figure it out on their own. They know what's what. I don't think we give young adults enough credit for what they're able to do. They can surprise us sometimes and that just kind of reflects in the book and you kind of see it. Yeah. Okay, anyways, uh, enough with that mushy, gushy stuff. So the first series I got into YA, I don't know where I was when I was a teenager. I don't know what I was reading. I was reading school stuff and probably manga, but no titles for me kind of stood out like how they do today. I started reading YA back in 2008. The first YA series I got into was Twilight. I remember because that was the year the movie Twilight was coming out, and I didn't read it because the movie was coming out. I wanted to buy a book, and my cousin suggested getting Twilight because she heard a lot of great things about it, a lot of people liked it, and so, like, why not? Okay, well, I'll go get it. And so, turns out, that I liked it. Introduced me into the YA genre and for that I am grateful. By far it's not my favorite series. It was good. It was really entertaining and mushy and gushy and I liked it for that. I liked it when I did back in 2008. The series that made me fall in love with YA was Scott Westerveld's The Ugly series. I had no idea what dystopian was. I thought it was post-apocalyptic, which it kind of was, but apparently post-apocalyptic and dystopian are different, who knew? I love the sci-fi aspect. The characters were awesome. To this day, it remains one of my favorite series. I didn't realize YA could be awesome. You know, I didn't know why A could be more than just gushy romance and sparkly vampires. There were more to it and there were deeper kind of themes and meanings that could be found in YA. My mind was blown. I shat bricks. It was crazy. If Twilight and Uglies were just the tip of the iceberg, I was overwhelmed to see how many titles and how many great genres and how many different stories there were in the YA genre. And I wanted to read them and get to all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I've read some unreadable YA novels, it doesn't turn me off from the genre. There's plenty out there for me to love and like. I just see it just as another genre that focuses on a certain age range in the book. And I think that age range contributes to why I love it so much. It's because it's the first 
of many is probably one of the more exciting times during our lives. That's the discussion topic of this week is why you guys love reading YA or if you don't or if you haven't gotten into YA, why haven't you? Seriously, just kidding. I'd love to know what you guys thought, why you guys love reading YA, what series introduced you into the YA genre, what series made you fall in love with YA, and yeah. Leave your comments and video responses in my pants. I'm kidding. So that's it for Let's Talk this week. If you guys have any other suggestions, leave a comment below. And that's everything. I will talk to you guys later.